Hey everyone, this week we're looking at how you can fix blown out highlights with post-processing techniques in Photoshop. So I think we've all captured landscape images before, where we've got a lot of dynamic range in the scene. Probably a darker foreground area, but quite a bright sky with that sunlight coming through. And it can be really difficult to control the exposure and we've blown out those highlights. I made a video recently where I was covering in-camera methods to help prevent blowing out those highlights. And that's definitely the preferred technique rather than trying to fix it in post like we're doing today. I'll put a link up top to that video. You might want to go back and watch that first. But there are times when you've done everything you can, but you just can't stop blowing out those highlights. And at that point, you've only got two options really. Either get rid of the shot or try and fix it in post. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to fix the blown out skies using Photoshop. So I've seen some people online using the blend if method and that is where you clone part of your sky into the blown out area and then you go into the layer properties and you adjust the blend if sliders to try and more plausibly match that cloned area to the blown out area and that's great it works really well however it can be a bit advanced for some users so today I'm going to share two methods which I think are much easier and simpler but still give really plausible results so let's dive in and see the first one Okay, so to demonstrate the first technique, we're going to take a look at this image. I captured this in Sheffield for a recent video where I was showing you how you can fix the geometry in your image. But for this particular shot, I was looking up towards the sky. It was a really bright sunny day. And even though I tried to get a good exposure, I've still managed to blow out the right hand edge of this sky area here. So even if I bring down the highlights and the exposure, I'm never going to get that detail back there. It's just completely empty. So the only way I can rescue this is by using one of the methods that I'm going to show you now. And this is the first one. We're going to use the healing brush tool in Photoshop. So I'm going to press command and E on my keyboard. That will be control and E if you're using a Windows PC. And that will open up in Photoshop like this. And the first thing I'm going to do is just select all of my sky area. So I can do that by coming down to the fourth tool down here on the left in the tool palette. If you click and hold, the contextual menu will pop out. And if you haven't already got object selection tool, just select that. And then we can hover over our sky area and then it'll go pink like that. And we can click once and that creates a selection of our sky. So I'm just going to make a new layer by coming down to the layers palette down here. I'm going to click on this icon at the bottom just to create a new layer. See, we've got layer one now. And I'm going to clone an area of the sky into that bright white area. So normally you might use the clone stamp tool, which is here. But the reason I'm not going to use that is in the way that it copies color and texture. So I can demonstrate that. If we just use the clone stamp here, I'm going to press option on my keyboard. That'll be Alt if you're using a Windows PC. And now start to paste it over here. You see we get a big blue blob, which doesn't look right at all. And that's because it's copied the texture and the color. But if we use the healing brush tool and do the same thing, Option or Alt, and now we start to paste that over here. You see it's pasting the texture, but not the blue saturated color. So that looks much better already. But I think I actually need to copy this area of the sky to match a little bit better. So I'm just going to select that area there. Start to paste that in. You have to click a few times. And ideally you want to make it so that it's not repeating too much of a pattern. And that doesn't look too bad to me. You can spend a little bit more time doing this. I'll just deselect that. You see, that's how it was before. And that's how it is now. And it's a really quick and easy way to get some texture into those bright white areas and fix those burnt out highlights. Alright, so we'll go back to Lightroom now and the next image we're going to take a look at is this one. So again, you'll see we've got some blown out highlight areas here 
all along these clouds areas here, these long streaks. So we're going to attempt to fix those. So again, we'll bring it into Photoshop. It's Command and E or Control and E on your keyboard, and I'll bring it into Photoshop like this. And you'll see if I try using the healing brush tool on this one, I've already tried it. It doesn't do quite as good a job as it did with the last one. You see, it looks a little bit smoky, a little bit hazy here and doesn't quite copy the texture as well as I would like. And then we get some strange extra saturation here. It's just not working as well as it could. So what I'm going to do with this one is create a new layer again. So down here in the layers palette and I'm going to use just the lasso tool which is under the third one down here, pop out the contextual menu. You can use the polygon or the magnetic if you find it easier. But I'm just going to do it freehand with the lasso tool. And I'm going to select all of those areas which are blown out. So after you've selected one area, you can press shift on your keyboard. And as you hold that down, you can draw another area and it'll add to your original selection. Okay, I think that looks okay. So now we come up to Edit, Content Aware Fill. That's going to think for a little while. And you see that's done a really good job of just filling that in. Sometimes you need to play around with this. You can rub out some of these green areas. If I just pull this panel across. By altering what areas it's sampling. It'll give you a slightly different result here on the right hand side. So you might just need to play around with those until you get something that looks right. But I think that's not too bad. So I'm going to click OK. And that's actually created a new layer by itself. So I didn't need that layer there. I can get rid of that one. But if I just turn that off, you see that's done quite a nice job. But if you still want some of that brightness there, and that looks a little bit too much like it's covered it up completely. You can just bring down the opacity on that layer. And that way we do get some of the texture in that area, but we've still got the brightness. So it looks a little bit more real and it doesn't feel like it's cheating quite as much. So that's how you can fix the blown out highlights in your landscape skies using Photoshop. I know not everybody likes these techniques, some people feel it's cheating, and to some extent it is, I agree, but it's not quite the same as using sky replacement or something generative that completely changes your image. It's all your source material, you just copy in one part of your sky into another area of your image. And in that sense, it's not that different to using the burn tool, it's just adding a little bit of texture as well. And most people would agree that using the burn tool is quite passable and not cheating. So for me, this is okay and I don't mind doing this. And it's much better than losing the image. If it's a really good image and you want to keep it, it's better to fix it this way, I think, rather than just get rid of it. So that's about it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. As always, I really do appreciate it. But if you are new to the channel and it's your first time watching and you're not yet subscribed and you'd like to do so, you can just click down there on the big red button or over here on this picture of me. That way you'll keep up to date with everything I'm doing each and every week. There's a new video every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. UK time. So I hope you'll join me next week for the next one. But until then, thanks a lot everyone and bye for now.